let's head over to the bench. So I did my layout, which then I'm able to get this jig right here so that we use to transfer to the panel. I just get a panel about 18 inches long. I have a line here. That line represents the transition from roof to chimney. And as long as you have, you know, say eight inches going up the face of the chimney and eight inches coming down the roof, as long as you have a long enough piece to do that, you're good. What I do when I'm practicing these, I just cut it in half. Quick little announcement here. So I appreciate now, you guys watching. This is one of my favorite yeah. details. Speaking of my favorite okay. details, this year's okay. Metal Con 2023 in Las Vegas, Nevada, we are holding an in-person hands-on workshop where we're going to be going over this detail and one other one in a four-hour workshop. It's a paid event. Go down to the link below and we'll hope to see you there. If the paid event's not something you're really interested in, we are doing a free education session going over some best practices and maybe the possibilities of online learning for the double fold industry. So again, head down to the description below, register if you're going to MetalCon and we'll hope to see you there. Don't and uh, thanks for watching. Angle. This has to be a slight angle. Just a slight, slight angle. Right. Okay, now once you have that, straighten all this out. All right. Like that jig that I was showing you how to make with the intro video. Like so. Yeah. Line that up with the other draw line going across and going across. Just gonna take it and twist it on that line. Okay. Put it just there. Just there, Okay, so you can see how it gets a little twisted. The reason for that is it's an important part of the doing a, see how I'm crushing this over? That'll straighten back out your seam. We got a, it's called a small crimping tool. Crimp it. I don't really, here, I'm gonna flatten that over again. Go like this. Okay, and so you can see the beginnings of it. Because the jig, yes, super good for repetition and uh, maintaining quality. If you wanna you know, increase efficiency, you can make a jig for every slope. This is the, the beginning of the the pinch seam. This is the stage I would get it to. Here we are, we're, we're getting up on the roof. Just on the, let's get this. Okay. Uh oh, should have put my, make it, make it so, I'm just gonna, you see how those two are lined up in the back? That is ideal. Seam this, okay. Get right in there. Okay, and get right in there. Get that nice and tight. Get that nice and tight right up in there. Next thing we're gonna do, I forgot, I like to use these. I grab it here, and I bring it in. Yeah. Grab it here, bring it in. Close these up a little bit. We got those those lines I made from the jig. Okay, I want to make sure that I'm I'm fabbing on those lines. And bring these around. Okay, that's looking good. So right here, right there, is that jig the the line we made with the jig. Okay, that angle. So what I'm doing here, I'm adjusting it so we're actually bending on the line. You know, it's dead center of that over here, this loop here. Once you have that, and you're keeping an eye on it. You see this brake line here and the top of this? It's just below that. 
See the difference? The male is up. It's not right in line with the other semen. Now we can crush it. And just start turning it over. Okay, you can see how that seam is buried up into the female. So right here, before we fold this over into double fold, this, it has to look like this. If it doesn't look like this, do it again. So we go, we're grabbing and we're turning, okay? We're grabbing it. See how this is stretching along the top of that seam. You see how that's just stretching along. Once I got it to this stage, I like to use my hammer at this point. I hope I explained it well enough that you understand the importance of some of the finer details.